Welcome to Amsterdam. We are here at the world premiere of the new Mercedes-Benz A-Class. I'm the project leader for all R&D uh, departments. And uh, I'm responsible for this new Mercedes A-Class. Okay, and what kind of car is it anyway? Yeah, that's interesting. You said it's a beautiful car, but you can't see it. And that's part of the story, because this is original test car. We drive our tests uh, maybe in Sweden or in Southern Europe. And these stickers on here are because uh, the you, you, the photograph shouldn't see the real shape of the car. Oh. So it's a, a kind of a camouflage. I see, okay. So what are your personal highlights about this beauty? Um, besides the, the MBUX system, what you see maybe on the next stand, um, my personal highlight is the optimization of the surround view. We had, a, we had a many complaints of customers that they uh, can't see the 360 degrees okay. and we had wide shape of this A-pillar. Mm -hmm. So and we improved in this area and also in, in, in the B-pillars. I see. Okay, do you have any further highlights or? Yes, yes. Also the ingress. So we lifted this door line that you, that you don't bounce your head when you go get into the car. Nice. <laughs> and also we did something for the, for the load compartment. We split it, the tail lights here to have a wider um, opening. Yeah? And also the load volume by 29 liters. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. I'm responsible for aerodynamics, aeroacoustics and the wind tunnels at Mercedes. Okay, so what is aerodynamics? Aerodynamic is a discipline in car engineering to lower the drag, the wind resistance of cars. So what are the goals uh, about the dynamics regarding the new A-Class? We, uh, once again, as typical for Mercedes, set the pace in aerodynamic development um, mm -hmm. with a drag figure of 0 0.25. We are now running far ahead of the compact segment and even in front of many limousines. And what are the advantages for the customers? Yeah, it's uh, less fuel consumption. It's okay. uh, better driving stability, even or especially at high speeds. And uh, the car is much better. I'm the powertrain project leader. I see. Can you tell us some highlights of the new powertrains? Yes, we developed this new engine. It's a 1.4 liter gasoline engine, complete new. We also developed a 2.0 liter high performance engine as well as a new diesel engine. On the transmission side, we also developed two transmission, a manual transmission and a 7G DCT transmission. All right, and what can you tell us about this baby? This is our 1.4 liter gasoline engine. We optimize the fuel economy here about minus 50%. We also reduce the emission for itself to fulfill the future emissions. And we also look to improve the performance that the customer has a lot of more fun than at the moment. We shorten the response time very much for this engine. I'm responsible for NVH of car body and chassis. So what is NVH? NVH is noise, vibration and harshness. It's all about acoustics and vibration in the car. It's a comfort feature. Tell me, what was the biggest task about NVH? Uh, the current A-Class is a young and active car and we wanted to add uh, more comfort to the car to make it suitable for long distance traveling and relaxed cruising. And what are the results of everything? The result is we have a good refinement of the chassis, we have an improved car body and we have a further development of the insulation. So the noise level is reduced, um, the sound character is improved and um, the uh, speech intellectuality is improved. So the conversation in the car is much more comfortable. I'm in charge of overall vehicle testing for the new A-Class at Mercedes-Benz cars. What are the testings for? Well, what we're trying to do is, is not only ensure functionality of the car, but also understand how the car is working and how it's supposed to work. And what were the biggest challenges? Well, we do have a limited amount of time and, and a limited amount of prototype cars and getting all these various requirements under one umbrella and trying to find, in the end, the best compromise with the customer. That's always a challenge. 
and what were the results? Well, obviously, we're very happy with the car right now. We, we can release it to the public. Um, it's performing incredibly well. We can compare it to certain other cars and find that, that the performance is exactly what we want it to be. Yeah. It's not just a pass or fail, but it's really the feel is, is just right. And I'm very excited to see what the reactions are. The head of user interaction within the Mercedes-Benz car group. Mercedes-Benz user experience, what is that? So, Mercedes-Benz user experience, uh, this is uh, a department that has been uh, created within the Mercedes-Benz car group and take care of uh, the whole user interaction within the car. So, and uh, with the new A-Class, so we are bringing out our so-called MBUX, so 1.0, so this is the first uh, Mercedes-Benz user experience uh, within the car. And I heard about speech control. What can you tell us about that? The speech control is part of the whole uh, user experience. You have touch, you have a different uh, way of... Uh, uh, you have different way of interacting within the vehicle and speech control is part of it. So uh, where you use uh, some kind of artificial intelligence to bring it to another level. Artificial intelligence, what can you tell us about that? Artificial intelligence is one of the ingredients we use within uh, our speech control mm -hmm. in order to bring it to uh, the next level. So uh, bring natural language understanding within uh, the car uh, so that to avoid people to learn command and let them speak the way they want to speak. Oh, cool. Yeah. So that means safe driving, right? It's great. So you hands on the wheel, you can talk to your vehicle as you always wanted to <laughs> and then drive safely. Yeah. Uh, being the project lead of UI 2018, so that's the user interaction concept of the all new MBUX, which we present today at the A-Class World Premiere. And we are here at the multimedia store and we're going to show the new MBUX. Yeah, we heard about this before and um, could you give us an example? Uh, why if you sit inside of that seat pack and play a little bit around? Perfect, I would love to. Alright, so what you see here is basically the original hardware with the original steering wheel, the instrument cluster, the central display, the haptical and acoustical touchpad. And that's all what we have in the car. And uh, I would like you to play a little bit around here. Yes. So what I would like you to do, just swipe on the touch screen now. OK. So if you do a long press on one of the tiles, and you can move it around to the left-hand side or right-hand side, and you can reorder it. And you can store it here, just do a press here. Same holds true for the temperature of the air condition. If you do a press, long press here, you can move it around and switch it to a one. So and you can store all that data in your personal profile. So you can create your own profile and store that data in your own profile. Oh, so it's completely that. flexible and highly personalized. The same holds true for the instrument cluster. By the way, if you are now puzzled there, do a long press on that button here. And you now you swipe up. And again, you can see G-Force or the navigation map. And you can even go on the left-hand side and do the same on the left-hand side. Swipe to. So instead of having the speedometer, you can change content. So it's completely flexible, and that's what you wanted to achieve. Wow. Plus, we added to the system the all-new natural language understanding system. So you can use that in a more natural way, no longer with command and control. So you easily can say, it's cold, it's way too hot, stuff like that. Or switch, please switch ambient light on. So therefore, you can control the car via speech. Wow, well, that's, that's the MBUX. Last but not least, we are here at our final station, A Gallery. And here with me, Gordon Wagner, the Chief Design Officer. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Fine, how are you? Very good, yeah, thank you. Now, what was the biggest challenge about designing the new A Class? Well, I think it's a great responsibility to design such an iconic car like the A-Class. Um, that car has changed the company probably more than any other. Uh, 20 years younger customers, a new generation, and transformed that company from a traditional luxury to a modern luxury. So uh, reinventing an iconic car such as that is, of course, a big responsibility, but uh, we are used to deal with icons, so yeah, we enjoy ourselves. And I think uh, when you see the car, 
uh, I hope we manage to do good. I believe so. And what do you love most about the new design? Of course, the whole thing. It's a composition of everything. Of course, a great exterior, which uh, again, increase the proportion, uh, so the proportion is amazing. And especially when, when you want to take stuff out, the proportion is even more important. So we got bigger wheels, the car is basically like a rear wheel drive, sits on the rear wheel. Uh, so very low and short front end, so great proportion. So then we have a very aggressive face, we call it the predator face. It's very aggressive, very progressive, so that's cool. I love the shoulders and the rear, it's like hips, so it's a bit of sexiness in the design. And of course, I love the interior. I think when you look at in the interior, it is a level of quality and luxury that has never been seen there before in that class. And, um, and the coolest is actually our new operating system, our MBUX, which is there on the free floating screens. We oh, showed yeah. that like three weeks ago in Las Vegas, and it's very intuitive, direct touch. You have 80% of all use cases on the first two layers. And, uh, and at the same time, it is uh, very beautiful and three-dimensional and not like the 2D smartphone stuff. So, um, so in a nutshell, I think the whole thing is probably the hottest and coolest car in the segment. <laughs>